Okay, so here's the modifications I've done to the back of the air conditioner. This is um, like hood lining insulation, sound deadening stuff. It's um, just foam with a foil on it. And I've cut it out around where the compressor sits and the uh, condenser. So it shouldn't get too hot. But it's mostly just to deaden the sound and um, sort of these vents. Normally these air conditioners only have a single hose, which is an outlet and it uses the room air to cool the condenser. But what I've gone ahead and done is I've picked up a new hose and I'm going to change it into a dual hose system. And uh, here is a vent that would normally pull air through, but because um, I'm going to be pulling cold air from outside instead of in the room, uh, the compressor should work a lot less hard. Shouldn't need the extra ventilation from the room. That's how it sits like that. Here is the back of the air conditioner. You can see the inlet here. Had a cover over it, so I just removed the cover. Um, so I can add two hoses to it. Um, down here, it's a reverse cycle as well. So here's the condenser coil. It's fairly big, it goes fairly far back in there. So I'm going to run some of this foam around the front to sort of cut down on the fan noise because this thing's super loud as well. As you can see in the back before, this is the area I left blank because I don't want the condenser to touch the foam too much and sort of get too hot. Um, most of the sound, most of the noise comes from here and through this open vent here. Um, up the top here's the uh, EVAP coil. It's pretty big actually. It's a fairly big air conditioner. Um, and as you can see, up here I just ran here I just ran some of the more offcuts up here, sort of just to squish that down a bit. So yeah, I'm gonna do the front of the air conditioner now. So that's all this stuff is. It's just um, foam and foil stuck to the front. Uh, I don't think it's particularly fireproof, but um, that's why I'm not trying to smother the condenser or the compressor with it. So it should be okay. Okay, so this is what the finished uh, product kind of looks like. Uh, as you can see, I wrap this around here. That's sort of where the compressor is. Uh, this side has the run start, uh, the run and start capacitors and stuff over here. So I just want to leave that empty. Don't want to risk. Uh, shorting anything out uh, around here. I didn't put anything in the middle because that's where the condenser sort of sits this way like this and didn't want to bother messing around with that and I just sealed it up along here and this is what the front of the unit looks like. So there's a big blower in the front for the uh, for the evap. Uh, there's a big blower in the front for the evaporator and as you can see it's pretty noisy that's why I ran the foam around the top. And I left a gap for this air seal around here, which should help. And there's that big, nasty looking capacitor in there. And there's the compressor. It's pretty small actually, uh, but it does the job. It's also on isolation pads, which stops it buzzing around too much, but it is still very loud. And then on the back here, there is a bit of foam here just to air seal this but in the back the plastic housing I'm gonna put some the leftover bits of foam in there sort of a, keep the sound in and it should be done. A bit hard to see but if you look in there you can see that it doesn't foul on anything it doesn't get stuck and it fits perfectly see if I can get it Shot in there. It's pretty hard to see. Also, I'm using a DJ Osmo pocket, which doesn't really like um, tight spaces. Let's see. There's the water pan in the bottom, and it doesn't doesn't seem to get stuck on anything. So that should hopefully cut down on some of the noise.
So I forgot I needed a coupling, some one of these guys for the intake because I accidentally ordered the tubing that's the same size as the um, exhaust, but the exhaust actually connects with one of these little guys. I could probably buy one from the manufacturer later on, but in the meantime, I just used some leftover of the insulation and made kind of like a you know, kind of like a sock grommety thing for it. Seems to stay in there all right, which hopefully should work fine. And yeah, this is the finished product. This entire vent is all closed up now. And yeah, tap on it. So that's what it sounds like. There's no insulation there, I think. But yeah, so hopefully it works a lot better. So this is a system running now with no hoses attached, and it's actually way quieter than it normally is all set up in the window, so that's pretty good. And you can feel here it has a good sucking a lot of air through, so I think that's a success. And there you have it. It's got the two tubes running out the window. I have like a one of those windows that opens sort of horizontally, like swings out from the bottom so I had to put a little thing up to sort of block some of the outside air from coming in but yeah it's working fine as you can see here there's the two vents and I just use a little bit of leftover of the uh, this stuff insulator just to stop the two pipes from touching because they do get pretty hot and yeah and that's on maximum fan speed and then we drop it down and you still hear a little bit of a buzz from the I think it's the compressor or something or the pump um, but apart from that it's fairly quiet the rest is just the fan noise which I can't really do much about at the moment unless I probably modify uh, this cold side blower make it slower but apart from that till next time see ya